Alright everybody, we're going to be making a AV mask, and these have ear straps. It has a pocket um, so that the nurses can put a filter in it, uh, whatever filter they want, and then they can reuse it over and over again. Alright, this also has a wire in it, so you can see, you can pinch it and it will hold its shape. All right, so there's a couple things you need. Um, you need to make a wire. So I just wrapped a bunch of floral wire around to make it a little bit thicker, um, just so that it will hold its shape better. You wanna make sure you tuck the sharp parts so they don't poke out. All right, you need a ruler, a Sharpie, you need a pair of scissors and a sewing machine. The first thing that I did was I made a pattern and I just used wax paper because then to cut my um, face part, all I had to do is pin the wax paper on and I don't need to trace anything, I just cut around the wax paper. It's really easy, just one little pin. Okay, this should be... 18 inches length by eight and a half inches wide. I, you can do it a little bigger wide if you want, um, but eight and a half is pretty good. And 18 inches length. So that way when you fold it, you get a nine by 18 and a half. You can do nine by nine square. Okay. The other thing that I have, I've cut two pieces of this is old legging material, okay? So um, this fabric is really stretchy and you wanna cut it somewhere between six and seven inches. Um, it's better to have a little bit more than to not have enough. So I cut this one to seven inches, but some of them I you know, was being thrifty with the material, so I cut them to six inches. All right, so. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make these straps. A lot of people are running out with the bias tape. And the reason I'm using the over-the-ear um, strap is because it uses a lot less material than the bias tape, which requires four 18 inches of these. This is only two 7 inches, right? Um, so to make this, you flip it upside down. You fold it in. And, you know, if you want to iron it... It might be easier. I just am doing it my way. Fold it in again. And then you fold it a third time. Okay. Into the center. Now, you're going to use a pin. You can pin both ends. You can pin one end. You can pin the middle. Whatever works for you. I'm not a huge fan of pinning, so I just pin one end as best I can. And then I, I just leave this end. You can put it under a ruler and hold it. All right, same thing here. Flip it inside out. Fold it in. Fold it in. Fold it again in half. All right, grab a pin, pin one end, okay, and then you can just, you know, refold the other end, plop it under a ruler, whatever works for you. I'm just going to hold those under the ruler. So those are ready to go for my side pieces. This is an 18 inch piece, and you want it inside out. Okay. Fold it into your nice square. And what you want to do is measure to be about eight and a half. It's okay if it's a little smaller, a little bigger, and you want a two inch gap 
in the center of it. All right, so I'm going to mark that with my Sharpie. That's so I know when to stop. That's done. And then you're going to switch to the sewing machine. Okay, so first we're going to sew the ear pieces. So we want this on six, which on this machine is an elastic zigzag. Your piece that you've prepped, and you're going to slide that Past the pressure fit just a little bit so that you can grab it on this end. All right, you can lock your pressure fit down. I'll hold on to my string here, and I'm going to send the needle down by rotating this, and then I'm going to pump the gas. So, I'm going to push on my pedal and start it, and then you push this button, hold it down, and that's going to send it back, just makes kind of like a knot stitch. Send it forward again, pull it taut, and then like I said, you kind of have to guide it through at a pace that works for your machine. Most machines have a little thing right here. Mine doesn't work very well. Snip that. And now you have a nice oop, zigzag. And look at how stretchy that is. Super stretchy. Okay. Now you'll do that twice. Here's my second one. Reminder, push it back. And we're done. Okay. Now, you should have two just about the same size elastics. Super stretchy. Perfect from leggings. I just use old pair of leggings. All right. Okay, so now, again, you want your two dots, which I have right here and here. This is for my pocket for the mask part. Make sure your fabric is inside out. And I'm going to start. Push this right down. Hold your string. Rotate your needle. This is important. Before you pump the gas. You want to go back to a straight stitch. So on this machine, it's a two. This goes up. Now I have my straight stitch ready. And I'm going to start. Send backwards. And... Put my red dot. Send it back. Send it forward. Send it back. Send it forward again. Right. You go from the other side, or you could go on the same side. And just line up with your red, hold down. Green on down. Although I totally forgot to do my back stitch. Now you've made your pocket part.
Okay. So, at this point, you want to adjust the fold so that it is in the center. Okay. And we can open this part up. And this is your pocket. Now, you can iron it. You can do whatever you want. But what I do is I just sew it. Make a seam around it. So first I rotate this so that I don't accidentally sew it on to the back. Which I have done multiple times already. That's so why I'm making this so that you learn. And now I have... That little pocket section. So that's going to go right on in. Pump that down. Hold my thread. Start. And I'm going to sew around that. All right, so now you're going to have this folded so that your pocket's in the center, it's inside out, and you're going to take your elastic, put it on the inside, upper top corner, All right? You can just pinch that together, put it right under your machine there, okay? Hold your string, rotate your needle in. Crossing that half seam, grab the other end of the elastic, and you want to put that down at the bottom corner. Okay. You can pinch it, pin it, whatever you want. You want to do that on the other side as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put in the nose bridge. So you take the wire and you put it on the other, the inside of your pocket after you've sewn both sides and just press it up to one side or the other. So my wire is right here. All right. And now I'm just going to go from this side. Okay. And I'm going to just sew a thin little strip right in there. Now I'm going to work through the elastic. Don't forget your back.
do is I then find the two ends of the wire and I like to just sew a little right there so that they don't wiggle. Okay. So there we go. Ready for the reveal. So I like to start with that nose ridge just because it's trickiest to pull through. Okay, I need to pull everything through. There we go. This is pretty slow, but my nose goes And um, just keep on slipping it out like a little pillow. There we go. Almost there. There's my other elastic. And voila! Now there's one last bit you gotta do. Okay. I'm gonna flip that. See how that pocket looks really nice? Now, find your nose bridge, and this is where we have to fold and so so they say to do three folds. I find this part fairly tricky. So one fold pinch, two fold pinch. Three fold. Think about like you're folding a paper fan, um, an accordion fold. So I usually just do one side at a time. You can totally pin it. I don't. And then you want to make sure you sew that going this way. So three folds, one, two, three. So going downwards because you don't want the needle to get caught up under those. Right? I just sew it in a little bit from the edge just because this is really thick from all of our sewing and our elastics. other side is match the folds. There should be three folds. Match them the way you want them to be. And then again. You want to go down. So that it doesn't get caught up over it. Start your needle. This is our last sew.
Okay. Now you might want to clean things up. It's nice and stretchy. We've got our pocket for the filter. And you're good to go. And that's that. Thanks.